Shooting USA is brought to you by SnapSafe and the full line of affordable security products from modular safes to lockboxes. Save 15% with code SUSA15 at SnapSafe.com. Welcome again to the Shooting USA YouTube channel. We're glad you're here. An interesting factoid, some of our more popular videos see as many as 75 or 80% of you are not subscribed to our channel. If you like the content you're seeing, please honor us with a subscription. And if you're interested in full-length current episodes of Shooting USA after it airs on the network, there's a link in this video's description to our Vimeo channel. Now, here's the content you came to see. Once in a while in the world of historic firearms, a piece turns up that is so exceedingly rare that no one even knew to look for it. But Dr. Lewis Drake knew, and because of that, the Joseph Manton Double Flint serial number 6508 is now one of history's guns. History remembered and sponsored by the Civilian Marksmanship Program. Buried in the pages of a book are these obscure patent drawings. We know the design was created by one of England's greatest gun makers, Joseph Manton. It's unique in that it has all of the late uh, patent features that uh, Joseph Manton came up with, all of these improvements on one gun but there seems to be no record of anyone having seen this design brought to life. That is, until now. It sort of came out of the, the woodwork, so to speak. Imagine Dr. Drake's surprise when this Joseph Manton 14-bore double flint sporting gun appeared on the auction block. Its history was murky, but Dr. Drake knew what he had found. Here in one pristine firearm were all of the improvements shown in the patent drawings. So to have them all intact and all there after all these years is, is dramatic. A close look leaves little doubt that these drawings and this superb firearm are one and the same. Figure 13, uh, you'll see pictures of the locks here with the exact same engraving pattern that, that this gun has. Figure seven shows a unique safety feature that Manton called gravitating stops. You can see this one with its telltale platinum counterweight. If you tilted the gun to fire an overhead shot, the gravitating stops engage the cock so that at this angle of attack, the, the gun could not be fired. The burning powder wouldn't back in, it wouldn't fall back and hit him in the face. Letter H on figure six is all about accuracy. It's Manton's patent for the elevated rib. As you can see here, the, uh, the rib is higher at the breech end of the gun, and then it gradually slopes down to the muzzle end. It would make the gun shoot a little bit high, and at 30 yards, you would be right on target. It's a concept that survives today as an important feature on modern shotguns. Manton also addressed the cardinal rule of flintlocks, keep your powder dry. His ingenious system created a watertight seal for the priming pans that also diverted water away through a special drain. That ridge will overlie the sharp edge of the breech here and you can see it there, it's overlying it so the water can't penetrate down into the pan. It can only run off through this opening in the breech and come out under the gun through this, this hole right here. And notice the lowercase a in figure 11. It's this small plate on the frizzen, or hammer, as they used to be known, that diverts water just a tiny feature that went unnoticed over the centuries, and it may set this gun apart from any known to exist. We see a lot of the guns with the elevated rib, the breeches with the drain beneath the action, and we see the gravitating stops or evidence that the gun once had gravitating stops. We see all of those, 
but we don't see any of these hammers like this. That makes it remarkably rare and possibly unique. There's little doubt this gun was designed and built to show the world just how good a Joseph Manton sporting gun could be. In fact, he even put it in writing. Joseph Manton's new improvements by His Majesty's patents. And you'll see that in the patent drawings as well, exactly like that. And as Dr. Drake always reminds us, even the finest, rarest guns were made to be fired. This is probably the first time in a couple of hundred years that anyone has shot a Manton shotgun with these type hammers. And to its maker's credit, this amazing sporting gun shoots as well today as it did in the 19th century. To have this, this survive uh, in this condition with all of these features is uh, almost beyond belief. For the rugged, the style, the untamed, wild for the trades the trees the mountains and the free reimagined re-engineered reborn well you've made it to the end of another shooting usa video on youtube and for that we thank you it does help the channel if you subscribe, like, and comment, and that will help us keep the content coming.